DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And DNA is amazing because it's a code. It's an alphabet that consists of four letters. And it codes for all of life. If you can imagine yourself walking through the woods and you hear some birds and you feel the wind rustling through the grass and there's fungi and there's a squirrel. And each of these living things are coded by DNA. The letters form the words and the words form instructions about how to make every living thing. But what is DNA made of and what is its structure? DNA is a double helix. And if we untwist this helix, it looks very much like a ladder. We can take a closer look at this ladder in order to see the letters of DNA. The letters are called nucleotides. And you can see these nucleotides after we draw the ladder in a little bit more detail. You can see the pieces of this ladder. We can take a part of the ladder and show that there's a phosphate and there's a sugar and there's a nitrogen base. And these three items make a nucleotide, which again is one letter of DNA. You can see that there's several nucleotides fit together to make this ladder. How many? There's at least eight of them in this ladder here. And how does it attach together? Well, let's draw it again. We've got the sugar, the phosphate, and the nitrogen base, which makes one nucleotide. If we put two of them side by side, then we can attach them together like this. The nitrogen bases actually ha are attracted to each other using a chemical bond called a hydrogen bond. Two nucleotides can join together using the attraction between their nitrogen bases. That's not the only way that a nucleotide can join together. The hydrogen bond between the nitrogen bases is not the only way. If we draw another nucleotide, then we can see that it can join together like this. And this is a phosphodiester link, a stronger bond than the hydrogen bond. So we can see that the DNA ladder structure is bound together using a hydrogen bond as well as a phosphodiester link. Look carefully because this ladder structure is faced in opposite directions on either side. And this characteristic of being in opposite directions means that DNA is anti-parallel.